Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. We are the Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers and for the first time since that terrible FA Cup final, we are playing Manchester United, our hated rivals. Are they better than us? Yes. Will they win this game? Probably. Is it raining in England? It is. However, we have something that they can't buy with all of their fancy money, and that's heart. And so John Green and John Green are going to go out there, and they're going to do their very best up front to score. And in the middle, of course, as always, we have Leroy Williamson, whose story I'm going to be telling you today. And uh, we also have um, Perry Perry. No, wait, he's not in the game. Just kidding. We have Merrick Merrick, though, the silent but deadly uh, central midfielder. Um, as well, it's French, the l -l 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 Lana. We got a good, we got a good lineup today. Um, is it good? Is it as good as Manchester United's lineup? In a word, no, no, it is not. Um, they are a lot better than us, um, and they are in fact leading the league. Uh, don't pass to that guy. Just don't see him. Thank you for not seeing that guy. Um, they are leading the league. We are in 16th. So n n all is not well in Swindon. However, I did get to keep my job as manager, so that's encouraging at least. Uh-oh! Okay, that worked out perfectly. Just like we drew it up. I'm sure Berna had it covered. Um, so Leroy Williamson, uh, fascinating guy, Leroy Williamson. American, for those of you who don't know, like, um, like so many of the Swoodley Poopers. Um, in fact, right now, I think about half of the Americans playing in the Barclays Premier League are playing... Um, our, uh, half of the Americans playing in the Barclays Premier League play for the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers. You know, Fulham has a couple, etc. Um, grew up, uh, Leroy Williamson, playing not soccer, but baseball. Very good baseball player. Uh, actually was a professional baseball player for a while out of high school. Had a chance. I don't know if you've ever seen the, the Brad Pitt vehicle Moneyball. But uh, just like the guy in that, that movie, he had, the, uh, he had a choice between um, going to college and... Um, pursuing a career as a professional baseball player. He became a professional baseball player. The whole time, however, he was also a very good soccer player. In fact, his soccer, his scholarship to college was not in baseball, but in soccer. Um, and it just never, uh, but, you know, soccer is not as good a sport, in, in not as big a sport in America, and, and his parents wanted him to play baseball, um, et cetera, et cetera. But he kept playing, uh, he kept playing soccer, and in fact, um, developed quite a lot of skills as a soccer player after he stopped playing organized soccer. This is extremely unusual. But as you can see with him on the ball now, he is an exceptionally... Oh, no, he just, he just was dispossessed. Um, he's an exceptionally good ball handler. And the reason for that is that Leroy Williamson, um, when he was a relief pitcher in the minor leagues, spent all of his time in the bullpen uh, when he had to rest his arm, which relief pitchers often have to do, uh, dribbling the ball and playing dribbling tricks and etc. And then he had a weird side career when it became clear he wasn't going to go to the major leagues. He had a weird side career. This is how he ended up living in England, by the way. As a halftime as a halftime show guy. You know how like at halftime shows they bring out the like Harlem Globetrotters of soccer and it's like, look at all the bouncing he can do of the ball on his head. That was Leroy Williamson's job believe it or not, until the manager of the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers, um, back when they were a League Two squad, uh, saw Leroy Williamson at a game as the halftime entertainment of, like, doing all of his fancy Leroy Williamson tricks, and then uh, went and saw his pub team and was like, this guy, he's not terrible. Is he great? No. Is he going to score a ton? No. Is he going to score occasionally? Yes. And that manager, the guy who came before me, by the way, um, had the foresight to bring Leroy Williamson into the squad, and look at him now, a regular starter in the Premier League. He is uh, statistically the worst guy on our team who starts. Uh, Fat Lucas is worse, and Bowden Bowden is worse. Um, but he has something that you can't purchase, something that Manchester United uh, knows something about, heart. Um, and I say they know something about it because they've read about it in books, not because they have any of it, because they don't. Um, but I, that's what I like about Leroy Williamson. Um, he's all guts. He never gives up. And that's shown by the nature of his career. I mean, this is a guy who was played professionally at low levels in a very different sport, moved, moved to England, um, became like 
uh, basically a carnival act, um, and then made his way into professional soccer. And now the guy's making like $18,000 a week. It's insane. That's a totally legitimate tackle. So um, I am really excited to be playing Manchester United, uh, to be honest with you. But I am not as excited as Leroy Williamson because Leroy Williamson thinks that the FA Cup final was his fault and his alone. Now, of course, it's more complicated than that. Um, but there can also be no doubt, here he is, coming back heroically in defense like a brick wall. That's not a foul. Leroy Williamson, oh, ugh, it's frustrating. Oh, no. Oh, ha ha, you missed the goal. All right, we're clearly outclassed here. It's halftime. Uh, that was Leroy Williamson's story. Uh, instead of telling you a story in the second half, I'm going to focus entirely on attempting to win the game um, because I'm nervous. My boys didn't have a great uh, half there. As you can see from the match statistics, our number of shots was zero. Uh, I'd like to see that number of shots go up from zero to ideally more than zero. Um, let's see who we can take out. Uh, maybe Grange. Maybe we could bring on Gordon Taylor Levitt. Yes. Is that his name? What's that guy's name, Stan? Gordon Taylor Levitt? Yeah. Oh. The guy from the uh, movies. You know? Like Gordon that's Joseph that's Levitt. Levitt. The guy who played the bald guy in 50 50. Oh. You know what I'm talking about. He's handsome. Third Rock. The guy from Third Rock. He was also in Inception. Joseph Gordon Levitt. That's Gordon Taylor Fletcher's new name. I I declare it. All right. Um, I've, I got to keep in Leroy Williamson since this episode is about him. I'm concerned about the ability of Bald John Green to score when he's in the yellow in terms of his fatigue. But um, let's fit. What? Oh, look at that beautiful mustache. That bald, shiny, bald head. It always appears that he has a crack in his head, like right there. See in the middle. There's like like he had some kind of surgery. I don't know the full story there, but I'd be interested to find out someday. Um, but anyway, Bob John Green and other John Green, people have been asking if they're still married. Of course, it's not that. Do you not understand how marriages work? They last a lifetime, friends. It's not, I mean, you know, this is not Kim Kardashian, all right? When Bob John Green and other John Green got married, it was for life. Nothing is going to happen with them. Um, you know, they couldn't be, they couldn't be tighter. And, uh, they are, the, they are the absolute core of our team. Um, they are they are respected by every single every single member of the Swoodley Poopers, and uh, that's not going to change. Look at other John Green; he's got so much energy. You tell me never to use never to use, but I've got to use it there, right? Oh, to his ball, to his husband who can't finish. Disappointing finish, disappointing finish from Hubby there. That's that's all right though. One size fits all. He's still in the game. You know, the truth is, we need draws. We need points. So if this is if this is a draw, if we can manage to get this to be 0-0, that wasn't a foul. Why is it that when two men are attempting to engage in any kind of physical contact in this game, it's declared a foul? I think it's I think it's I just don't think it's right. Um so the uh I've been really pleased with 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 the way the boys have been playing since I got back from tour. Um, I think I've been uh, more attentive to their needs, and I think they've been responding in kind. But I definitely have a ways to go, so I'm listening to your... I'm, I'm reading all of your comments. They're very helpful. Um, you know, you guys are always reminding me of the Y button, and that's important, but also other buttons. Uh, I know there's a lot of, lot of good buttons in this game that I, don't, that I don't use that much. I've been trying to do the occasional special move, but I just don't think my level of quality is really up to that. Let's pass to Merrick Merrick and then just see what happens. So I don't think like I don't th I just don't think I'm ever gonna be a a buttons go off the post. I was almost one of those weird goals where you score by accident. Look at Rooney. Look at Wayne Rooney. He's a handsome lad. It's funny he's less he's he's actually less bald now than he was in 2011. I don't know how that happened. Any ideas, Mr. Rooney? Hair plugs, really? At the age of 22, really? Well, to each his own, Mr. Wayne Rooney. Um, it's hard to criticize you because you do score a lot of goals. Uh, I wish that all the Liverpool um, forwards would go ahead and get hair plugs. Andy Carroll, I'm looking at you. Uh, okay, so we, um, we are still tied at, against Manchester United, and um, that was maybe a foul, but they didn't call it, so that was good. 
right on the edge of the box. Uh, it's been a very close game, but we are definitely losing. Like, if you had to declare a loser, that would definitely be us at this point. Um, but I'm hoping, you know, put some passes together, see if Leroy Williamson can get anything going. That was not good by Leroy Williamson. It's only, you know, he's really up against the limits of his talent now, which is, that's, that's, that's a big issue for all, all the Swoodley Poopers. Um, we don't, I, I suck at FIFA, but we also don't have a good club, and, you, and we don't have the financial resources to get better because we have a tiny little stadium. And, um, oh boy, that was a nice move. Uh-oh. We lose. Wayne Rooney. Stupid, bald Wayne Rooney. Always ruining my days when I'm supporting Liverpool and then also ruining my days when I'm supporting the Swoodley Poopers. Devastation in Swindon Town. Blah, blah, blah. So sad. Oh, I needed a little move there. I don't, I'm just not very good at the little moves. I use the L trigger thing. It just doesn't ever work right. Anyway, um, you guys don't watch me to watch someone who's good at FIFA. There's a bunch of people who are good at FIFA on YouTube. Uh, tell me what you want me to talk about in future episodes, by the way. Ah! Maybe the love between, between Ball John Green and other John Green. A lot of people want to know how they met and stuff, but that's private, you know? Like, it's just not something they, you know, I've talked to them about that before, and they just, I don't know if it was on the pitch. I think that's the real reason it's private, is that, you know, it's a little bit weird when you start dating your coworkers. Um, but it's not really any of our business, if you think about it. Come on, that's got to be a foul. Not so much because it was a foul, but because it would have been a very convenient place to have a free kick. Oh, see, everyone's always telling me to pass back, but it doesn't, passing back doesn't work either. Nothing works. I am playing Manchester United. I mean, we got to be understanding that, like, when we're playing a team that's a lot better than us at a high skill level, they're going to win a lot. Not all the time, but they're going to win a lot. And that's got to, we got to be okay with that as a community. Um, so, yeah, that's the, okay, Bunsen Berna. How about you just, you know what, just take a run at it. Just see what happens. Okay, that happened. That was probably a bad outcome. Berna, I need you to go back to the goal, please. Thank you. The nice thing about this game is that there is some teleporting involved. So that's, that's nice. Now, you know what? Manchester United wins 1-0 just as they did at the FA Cup final. Our bitter rivals still, still have a 100% record of success against us. And bald John Green smells his armpits in shame. There will be another day, Manchester United. There will be another day. And on that day, we will emerge victorious. Until then, best wishes.